DB Sinclair and Jay Party here on the Map Distillery. Jay Party, take us away. We're following the monster here at stage one. And these first couple seconds, the head start on the monster are just so important here. He needs to get eating, but most importantly, he needs to get some space between that starting zone before the hunters land right on top of him. Using that glide to get that necessary space, using that smell ability to find the wildlife. Here he's taking down an elite wildlife. He's gonna get an early perk. Jay Party, talk about this ability cooldown bonus. Super lucky find there off the start of the game. 100 percent cooldown reduction is going to let him just unload those abilities which is so important at stage one as he doesn't have the damage of a higher level monster but with that cooldown reduction we're going to see a lot of damage still come out of this monster here come the hunters drop shipping down look at cute little daisy dropping down with the parachute you're seeing val and the rest of the team here running at the footprints of the monster Kraken doing a nice job doubling back, working on this wildlife here. That's a Steemodon that he just killed. It's going to cut down on the visibility of the hunters. Yeah, working against him there, unfortunately, as they're able to know exactly where he's at feeding, and they get that nice pincer maneuver to try to surround the Kraken. Ooh, but it's not enough. Val getting those ever-important tranquilizers off, as once the Kraken's trank, he will not be able to fly nearly as effectively. And if you can force him to the ground, you get a big advantage as the hunters. Keeping him locked down, but not for long. He's on the move again, doing that look back Banshee Mind just. I love that Jay Party. Keeps the hunters on their toes. Here comes a big lightning strike. Hits Assault for about half of his health there. Following up with the Banshee Mines. Assault getting low on health here, Jay Party. Yeah, it looks like Kraken's able to take him down, and that's a big win at the level one stage here. Taking on the Assault class should not be easy, but he manages to get it done here. Nice burst inward with the jetpack from the Medic there. He was able to bring the teammate back up and also heal the other teammate support that was looking low on health. Yeah, they managed to get the trap off on the Kraken, and this could be big here. At stage one, that armor bar is not going to last long, as you see it already just melting down the half armor here. And look at those bucket sentries filling up the ground with those. The damage from those is just so much. The Kraken can't stay around and fight. So far, Assault doing a nice job using that lightning gun to get that ranged damage on the Kraken, but so far it hasn't been enough. They need to get that armor down and start working on his health. Look at that, a harpoon trap brings the Kraken down to the ground. Another nicely placed harpoon trap gets him again and they're doing a good job keeping this Kraken corralled. Yeah, they're getting close here. That armor is about to be broken through. Trapper doing a great job here putting those harpoon traps down on all the edges. Any elevated position he can find is perfect. He knows the Kraken just has to cross near that area and then will be brought down to the ground. Kraken on the run but a nice lightning strike comes in, takes down the medic. But Bucket, he rips off his head, uses it as a UAV, and immediately tracks the monster. They're gonna have visibility of his location for the next few seconds. Yeah, super nice tactic we've seen emerge recently. Getting the UAV up just as the arena goes down allows them to pre-track the monster before he can escape. And now you see on the medic screen that small red triangle. That is perfect vision of the monster that they get for the next 15 seconds. And they're going to know exactly where he's going. Speaking of the medic, that was the medic downed in that fight. So the medic with a down penalty as well. It's going to make the medic and assault just a little bit squishier when they get into this next fight. The monster already trying to take this next fight to them. You're seeing the banshee mines and the lightning strike coming at the hunters there. Yeah, doing a good job there of just keeping the hunters back. Even though they know his location, they can't close the distance. That's just keeping them at range, but oh, look, and then a tyrant catches one of the hunters. This is brutal. It's going to slow them down a lot. Trapper gets caught by the tyrant, but the medic switching to the sniper rifle, able to do the damage necessary to free her teammate. Looks like the monster had just enough time to get away from the team there so that it can evolve up to stage two. You do want to do this in a safe area as you are without armor once you evolve. Jay Party, the monster spending three more points here. I'm excited to see this selection at stage two is where you're going to see some of the most important fights of the game. He's going for the full lightning strike. Look for big hits on that ability to take hunters down. Nice combo from the medic hitting with the tranquilizer gun to slow the monster down so the trapper was able to get the dome on him. Trapped here now at stage two, no armor. This could be a good fight for the hunters as the monster tries to retaliate with damage. Such a big win for the hunters here, as they're immediately getting damage directly to help at the very start of this fight here. Catching a monster cocoon so important as a hunter. As you see with the hunters, three of the team on a strike and down goes the medic into the tyrant's jaws, still with a sliver of health though, but gets hit finally oh, by the lightning strike and the medic is down. Relentless as the medic is just pelted from left and right there and finally goes down. But you're seeing support using that group cloak here. It's gonna be able to revive the medic. Nicely done by support, takes the aggro off of the medic from the tyrant, also makes him invisible to the monster. Support gets his teammate up, but the medic now on two strikes. This was such a good spot for them. This Kraken getting torn apart here, dropping below half health, and he hasn't managed to get any of the hunters out of the game completely. 
However, he does have two down throws on the medic, and I think that's going to come into factor later in this game. Nice job on the trapper. Needs to finish up and follow through with those attacks. Oh. Get the trapper down, but it misses the lightning strike on the medic. Medic doing a great job keeping the team healed up. And here you see Assault finally coming in with that lightning gun, doing big time damage. Another lightning strike though hits. This could be it for the Assault. He can get the Assault here. Assault will be coming back on the dropship, but the medic doing a great job of keeping Assault in the game. Two strikes and still doing work with the lightning gun. Now this Kraken can't get a break. We'll see if he lands and he does, and that knocks out the Assault dead. Such a big win for him as he now has two minutes without the primary damage dealer on the Hunters. Uh, but look at this support right on the UAV. The second the monster is free of that arena, and I love seeing the use of the UAV in fun, creative ways. Yes, nicely done. Going to be on the screen now for the Hunters to follow just for a few seconds. If they can catch him now, this is going to be a big time catch. They've got him just under a bar of health. Looks like he's working on some wildlife there though to gain some armor and support has found him already. Nice cloak though to not get caught. Yeah, it doesn't want to risk going one-on-one -on -one with the monster. He can't be in-capped instantly in a 1v1 fight and Bucket is the person they're going to rely on here. He's an offensive base support. He's one of the only teammates right now that can bring the damage they need to bring down the Kraken. Those turrets are just so effective at tearing away the armor, doing damage to the Kraken, and most importantly protecting bucket from the wildlife or the pounce and incapacitating attacks. Monster tried to get some wildlife there to build up a little more armor but bucket chased him off. He's on the run again using those banshee mines to try and take down some of the wildlife here. You're gonna see him get a nice little three meat treat and another perk J party increased movement speed he's picking up all the good perks today yeah a little gift from mother nature sheer there giving him another boost to his elites and that's the speed boost he's gonna need that as he's struggling to just keep distance from these hunters Val trying to trank and she does manage to trank the Kraken that's gonna keep him right down on the ground mobile arena coming down from the trapper he's gonna be trapped here this should be a good fight lots of armor to work with but just a tiny bit of health yeah already the trapper laying up some of those traps right at the edge of this arena here we'll see that our boom trap gets him. Just like it does in here. He's gonna be able to climb up in this fight, but he's in this arena. Focus is support, support cloaks again to get out of there. Nicely done by support to get away. Focusing now on the medic though. Two strikes on the medic. One hit could bring that medic down and out. This is unfortunate timing for him though, as that dropship is definitely coming in here in the next 10 seconds. That's gonna bring them the assault class that the hunters really need to do the final blow to the monster. Nice traps by this team using those sentry guns and the harpoon traps try and get this monster locked down and doing damage on him. It looks like he's trying to just mitigate a lot of this and keep the hunters pushed back there. He just wants to force them away from him to buy himself some time. If he can get to stage three, it's going to be a lot of life gained. This is not the fight he wants as Assault is dropping right back. Wow, there. big time lightning strike though, Jay Party. Down goes Support. That was a big lightning strike. Takes down Support, almost kills Trapper, forcing the medic to concentrate on healing there. A big win for him as that mobile arena has just dropped. We'll see if he can get out of this fight. Drops a lightning strike. Here comes Assault back in the game. Assault leading off with that assault rifle, doing damage finally, allowing the team to try and get that armor down, and the monster knows that he's on the run. Yeah, these next couple seconds are going to be so important for the squad if they can just catch the monster before he can get his footing. They can finish him off here, but oh, Trapper looking out there. Notices the plant trap, such a big spot. If he had been trapped, there would have slowed the whole team down. You don't want to end up in there, especially if these hunters are a little bit spread out. Does a nice job of killing the plant, though, before it falls victim. But look at that. Monster on his way to stage three, full evolve meter, ready to go. Support doing his job there. Gets the tracking dart off on the monster, so they know exactly where he is. And he's still looking for a safe spot. We'll see if he goes for the Evolve, even with the Hunters knowing where he's at, this Stage 3 is such a big jump in power, and with that low of health, he needs it. He does have that full blue bar at the top, which means full armor, but as soon as he evolves, that armor is going to be gone. Has to watch out, he got trapped last time he was in a cocoon, and it almost cost him the game. He's going to go full Banshee Mines, has that full lightning strike, two into Aftershock. Let's see how he uses it against the Hunter team, who does manage to catch him here. It is the Medic, though, so all they can do is slow him down momentarily with the Trank Gun and see if the Trapper can catch up and get the Mobile Arena on him. A big Lightning Strike, though. Nice turnaround strike on support. Support gets hit for some significant damage. And here comes the Arena. Let's see if it's in time. It should be. Oh, did he just get out? He did. Uh -huh. The Trapper's going to have to take down the Mobile Arena. Oh, and that's so unfortunate for the Hunters. A long cooldown they have to sit on now while the Kraken is free to roam around wherever he feels. A rough encounter there, but he needs this armor quickly. Even at Stage 3 here, no armor could mean a quick death for the monster. And you see the monster finally working on some wildlife here. 
does startle birds though. So the monster is on the screen for the hunters to see. They know his location. They can move on him now. They don't have a mobile arena, but they still could do the damage needed to bring him down. Just a little bit of armor he's working with. And this is exactly what the hunters need to do without an arena here is just pepper the monster, wear him down a little bit, prevent the eating. He's just wasting time here trying to knock down food, but if he can't eat it, it's just a waste. You're seeing the power relay on the screen there. It's a stage three objective. If the monster destroys it, the monster can win through that. It looks like the hunters want to take the fight to him though and not allow him to destroy the relay. Big vortex blast though knocks Assault back. Yeah, finally gets a breakaway here. Let's see if he goes for the relay. If he's able to destroy it, that will be a win. But with the Hunters closing the distance quickly, he's not going to have the time he needs. Here comes the Hunter squad moving in on the monster here at the power relay. You're going to see a stage three dome. That's a mobile arena coming out from the trapper. They're going to have him trapped, but instantly the trapper takes a big lightning strike to the face. If the trapper goes down, the mobile arena will fall as well. They need to keep the trapper up and alive. And this is a big fight here. This might be the last exchange from these guys as all those Hunters Looking real weak. The down penalty starting to collect, and this monster just falling to three bars of health. Big time hit on Assault, who's on those two strikes. Just a sliver of health, but he pops his personal shield, stays alive, and the medic gets him filled up with health. That's what they need to do. Keep that Assault in the fight. Keep him healed, keep him shielded, and just keep him going. Great teamwork from the Hunters. As you were talking about there, Jay Party, we're seeing the heals from Val. They have regrouped and they are fighting the monster well here now. No armor and down to two bars of health. There are two hunters, as you mentioned, with two strikes, Assault and Medic. If he can bring one of them down, they will be down and out. Here comes the Assault trying to do the damage they need, but he gets hit by the lightning strike and followed up with the Vortex Blast. Assault is out. Just like that, the main damage source of the team dropped out of the fight completely. They need to get everyone else fighting, and look at that, the Trapper stepping up his game, getting that SMG up. They know they just need sources of damage right now to bring the Kraken down. The Medic caught by a big lightning strike, just down to a sliver of health, but nice heal burst. Gets out of there, manages to stay alive, and here's Bucket laying down those sentry guns. He's gonna try and lock down this area. Those sentry guns will rip into a crack and do massive damage. Oh, doing such good work there. Oh, but it's not enough as Medic takes a lightning strike and goes down here. The last two hunters alive, but the Kraken's health just dwindling. Just a sliver of health. The support here trying to finish him off with the missiles. Banshee Mines coming from the monster. Here's a follow-up Vortex Blast. Here's the Trapper with the machine pistol trying to do the work the Assault can't do since he's out. He's gonna finish him off with the machine pistol. Down goes the Kraken.